Welcome back to another cut above with Chris. If you've watched my unboxing, you've seen what I have received in the mail from GR. It's GR Reyes. Is it G Reyes? I don't know. Reyes Restores over in Texas in, Australia, in America, in Australia. Now, he sent me over this beautiful vintage dual duck, which I've got soaking at the moment. I'm going to give it a try. I just did a hand lather with it and it was awful. The knot is just. It's, it feels like there's about 10 hairs in the knot. It's the floppiest, most useless feeling knot I've ever used. So we had to give it a go because it is a, a vintage brush with a vintage knot in it, new old stock. And I'll probably give it a few more test lathers, a few more goes just to see how it feels. I don't think I'm going to keep this knot in this handle. I love the handle, the knot's driving me nuts. So what I'm going to do is give it a go. If it doesn't work, whenever I take this out, I'm going to pop in this one. I'm going to move over to the, the synthetic if I don't get any any half decent lather out of it. I'll give this synthetic a bit of a go and see how that feels. Anyway, the soap. I'm going to give this Credence a go. It smells terrible. I can't describe it any more than it smells terrible. Now, I'd used this for two test ladders, one with my Magard 24mm and one with the Dual Duck. It just smells... Oh, it smells sour, like it's, like it's, it almost smells like it's went off. And I don't think it has, I, I just wonder if that's what this smells like. Now, once I lathered it up, it definitely smelled better, but it smells like sort of lemony, but a citrus sort of scent. So I'm assuming this is a citrus sort of scent. I could be totally wrong. But that's what I get from it, so get the brush out. Now with bow hair, if you soak bow hair, the bow hair actually does absorb some of the water. It's the only natural hair I believe that does absorb it now. Just to give you an idea, whenever you squeeze this down, it is the skinniest little knot. There's like no <laughs> there's like nothing in it. So just give that give it a flick out straight into the silt. Now, don't get me wrong, the lather from this stuff is thick, it's heavy, it's creamy, it's dense. So the lather from the soap is pretty exceptional and I think I'll get a great shave from it. And to test that today, I'm gonna to be using the Wunderbar. The brush feels good in the hand, it looks great. Very old brush. I mean, you can see there, it's just, it just splays out, there's not, there ain't much in there, unfortunately. I can't imagine that, well I suppose back in the day that was probably as good as it got really from a lot of brushes. This would have been, I would imagine, one of the most expensive brushes you could buy back then. I could be wrong, but to have a brush that was handmade in Germany, or made in Germany, with probably much higher quality metals and machinery than what you got pretty much anywhere else in the world back in, that, back in those days, I think I would have, I would have said Germany back then would have made some of the best stuff in the world. So I'm really going to overload this brush because I think it really needs it in order to get a good lather from it. The scent smells better when you get a bit of water on it. It smells, it's definitely citrusy. It's got a sort of a, a very lemony sort of scent to it. And that's all I get from it. I don't get anything else from it at all. So it's, it's not the best for that. But I don't go, when it said Credence, I thought, oh, Creed. I've just seen Creed, but I really don't. I don't know what they're going for with this scent. It smells very tallowy, and, and I don't think you're supposed to be able to smell tallow, but it does smell sort of like, like fat, sort of fatty smell. I don't know. I can't describe it. It doesn't smell great. Performance could be totally different. So let's get it stuck in. I'll wet the face. So unfortunately this is going to take a bit longer this video. So I'll just give you a bit of a look at the handle there. Now bear in mind this is pretty much how this handle came out of the box, brand new, back in the day. I've given the bottom a little bit of a clean, it had a bit of polish through it. So it's nice and silver now. The bit of black polish through all the wording and things like that. But that's where JR had pretty much polished it up. So this came up lovely. Beautiful brush, lovely handle. It's got a nice ergonomic grip to it. Very similar I would imagine to hold, well it is similar to holding the Rubber set 400 because I've got the 
the Razor Rock 400, which I believe is the exact same or pretty much the same dimensions as the Rubber Set 400, but made out of plastic. So it feels very comfortable in the hand. It looks great. It's not got a lot of weight to it. Once you get a bit of soap in it, it is definitely top, not heavy. When you put it, if you try to sit it down on its base, you've got to make sure that you make sure it's standing up because it will fall over. I've noticed that with it as well. So that being said, let's see what kind of lather we can get from it, from this big floppy bastard of a knot. Excuse the French. You can see the splay is absolutely jimongous. Alright, the scent on my face. Get a lemony sort of scent, but I still get that sort of not nice scent with it. So I can still smell that, it's just nowhere near as strong now. This knot should really have been set about 40mm shorter. <laughs> it should have been set down about here. And I think you'd have had a good knot then, or a better knot at least. It's almost impossible to build a ladder with. Got a nice bit of scrub. There's no scripture or anything with it, but then again there wouldn't be, there's not enough bloody hair in it to scritch you. I mean you can see there it's it's literally doing nothing there. It's just splayed right. I don't know, you probably can't see that. <laughs> it's just splaying out all over the place. It, it, it's shit. When we found the brush, GR found the brush, and we spoke about replacing the knot, and he basically said, "Well, look, it's a bit shame to to re knot it, knowing that the knot's in good condition, just to give it a go." So I am giving it a go. That ladder's it's an acceptable ladder. It's not a dreadful ladder. It's not. It hasn't been a ladder that I've enjoyed making. I have to say. That could be down to the bow here, I don't know. But that's that's an acceptable ladder for me. The bow here is a little bit harder to, to get going. So as you can see, there's, there's a fair bit of lather in the brush there. I'm just going to turn some lights on. It's getting a little bit dark in here. The scent, the scent's not great. I, I really cannot go on with this scent. It smells I'm still smelling, it's not strong, it's like, I mean the scent strength's only like a 3, but it's just not pleasant at all. That's not your fault JR, I don't want you getting get upset about that, that's just obviously my nose just doesn't like this at all. But the lather itself feels thick and really creamy and protective, so let's see how it shaves. Razor Rock Wunderbar, Torque Slant, with a Gillette Ruby blade in it, and I've got no idea how many shaves is on this ruby. All I know is the phenomenal blades. So let's just see how we go, 2 days growth. That feels phenomenal. The soap is great. It's really slick. It's protective. It's just a shame. The scent is just not pleasant. I've got no idea how many shaves. I've got on this ruby blade, but it feels as smooth as you like. Razor Rock Wunderbar, no pressure. Nice and light, hold the razor light, let the head do the work, and just let it fall across your skin. And it will cut very, very efficiently.
but in my opinion. In a very mild manner. It does not feel to me like a super aggressive razor at all. I barely feel the blade if I'm honest with you. It's as smooth as you like. It's a little bit harder across the grain. Now, you have to bear in mind that when I use this razor, or any razor for that matter, I do not go against the grain, ever. Anymore, I've packed it in completely. When I come across the grain this way, I do catch pretty much against the grain. And in my chin, in certain areas, it's fine. But I don't go against the grain, so... For you guys out there that go against the grain, yes, I can imagine this is a little bit tougher to use. And you would have to be careful with it, because it would bite you. There's no doubt about it. It's an efficient razor. There's a good bit of blade gap, there's a good bit of blade showing. You can feel the blade a bit, but I don't feel it much. I'm just going up to the sink and slow it Yeah, it's definitely a citrus scent. It smells not too bad now that I've washed it off. I've got a little bit of water from it, but it's not. It's just not pleasant. And this one has got the duck. So it's got tallow and duck, so I'm assuming it's duck fat and beef tallow. I'll need to have a look at the ingredients. But they're not this, this brush is just terrible. I'm sort of tempted to just keep it as an heirloom. super oh, it's not making an awful ladder it's just not pleasant to use it's not it's too floppy you don't get that sort of feeling from it I mean I, I get more feeling from a synthetic quite comfortably more feeling from a synthetic it's just too floppy the fibers on it are far too long I mean that is an acceptable second ladder you can't can't really argue with it it's thick creamy stuff the soap's helping this soap is excellent the actual soap base is really, really good. Right, across the green with the Wunderbar. And I know I'm looking a bit like a hobo at the moment. I will sort that soon. So I've been down to the, the vets today, her dog's not been very well the past few days, she was throwing up this morning. So I took her to the vets and found out that she's got pancreatitis. So just when you think you're getting on top of things, something else smacks you in the face. It's the old, uh, you know, when you win money on something or someone gives you money for whatever reason. Or you just give in to some money. There's always something comes along. You get your tax bill at the end of the year. Or you get your tax back. If you get tax back, you make your two or three thousand dollars back. And then a week later you get a bill for the council rates, which is two thousand dollars. <laughs> you never, you never ever in front really. The only way to really get in front is to screw the tax man. 
But you've got to have a lot of balls to do that. This razor is an absolute monster. I love it. It's so efficient. Comfortable, smooth. And all you need is a light touch. Seriously, if you buy this razor, just a light touch. It actually says on here, if you use this with a light touch, it'll be the greatest razor you ever, ever used. And it's not far wrong. It really isn't. If you want an efficient razor that chops in, a lot of days grow quite comfortably, in my opinion. There's not many better out there. But it's as good, in my opinion, as the R41. They're tuned down a lot of growth. It's definitely, it's definitely like a lemon orange, I think. I think that's pretty much where the scent's going. But it just... That is just... That's rank. Oh, it just smells terrible. I don't know what the, what the story is. I'm just really wondering whether during transit something's happened with the heat. Because obviously it's travelling into Australia. It's been stuck, probably in a container somewhere on Australian soil and 30 odd degrees for the past week. I'm just wondering whether this knot would be any good for a bowl ladder. I doubt it. And that's just ginormous. But you can see how sort of how much it's lacking in density. But you know something, it's not it's not making a, a really bad ladder. <laughs> it's, it's just not the most pleasant brush to use because it is like a big paintbrush. It's got really long bristles like a paintbrush, that's what it feels like. I'm sure Spencer's watching this and he's probably quite impressed that I'm managing to get something like this out of this brush if I'm honest because this is floppy central and I ain't great with natural hair brushes but I'm actually doing alright with it it's not scritchy or anything like that which is nice it's got it's got a bit of scrub it's not got much but like I say I think if you picked up a paintbrush at Bunnings and just went to town with a paintbrush or lather on it that's probably the sort of feeling and fetch you would get.
I can see just a tiny bit of water on there with the residual slickness of the soap. The soap base is as, as good as most things I've used, if not maybe a little bit better than most things I've used. It's definitely a high quality soap. It's, it's, it's been well thought out and the actual base is excellent. Just that scent is just... I'd be annoyed if it's supposed to smell better than that and, I, and it's really and it has been hampered by the heat. I really would be annoyed. I don't think it is. I think that is how that smells, but who knows? Maybe JR will pop a little message on you. Just give me his thoughts on it. I'm gonna send him a message anyway. The brush. <laughs> The brush did all right. I was surprised it did a lot better than I thought it was going to do. I've had a beautiful shave. Post shave, it feels great. I have to say. I'll just let that dry a little bit. I'm just going to rinse the brush out. Now, when this brush blooms out, once I've dried it, I flick it on the towel for a bit. It looks like it's got a massive knot in it, but it's not. It's, there's nothing of it. It just looks huge. It really blooms out in miles. It might, once it breaks in a little bit, it might feel a bit better. I don't know. But I think, in all honesty, I would probably like to stick with the bow, which is what's in it. I'd probably go with it. I mean, you can see how the lack of dense... It's just not a dense knot at all. It's a nice knot. Feels all right. I'm sure if you got it back in the 60s or 70s or whenever these brushes were made, it'd be a good brush. It would have been good enough for what you need it for. Surprisingly, it's not shedding. I think I've, I think one one fibre fell out, one hair fell out when I was doing the hand lather, test lather with it. You can see this, I'll show you in a minute once I get to that. All right, I'm just going to pop. That is one close shave, like super close. <laughs> the Wunderbar just does an incredible job. That is as close as I ever get, and I, every time I use that razor, I get the same thing with it. I just get such a close, beautiful shave. Can't use it every day. It's far, far too efficient for me to use every day. Some people can use it. I certainly couldn't. But that is as close a shave as I can get, irritation free at least. Right, there's lemon. Just to stick with what I believe this soap is supposed to smell like. Oh, well, I think it is a, a, a citrus scented soap. So. It's a nice, nice lemon scent on that. It's a sad state of affairs when Thayer's smells better than the soap you've used. And it, it really does, it smells way better than what this soap does. Would I recommend the soap base? Most certainly. The soap base is really, really good. But this scent... It's definitely a citrus. I know I keep saying it, but it's, it's one of them things I keep putting up expecting it to smell different. And it still smells rank. It really does. I, 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 it's not even a nice word to use rank, but it, that's what it smells like. It's just rotten. So we've got duck fat, beef tallow, goat's milk. I mean, this is full of good stuff. Made in California. The label... Labeling's all right. It's a bit cheap and tacky looking for my sort of thing. I mean, it's all right. It's a bit off center as well, which drives me nuts. Four ounces. From what I read and what I've seen in this, it's quite an expensive soap for what you get. They're quite new on the market, but it's exceptionally good soap. It's very, very good soap. For me to use a Wunderbar with a brush that I've never used, which didn't make them, doesn't make a great lather. It shows you how good that, that soap is for that brush to make a good lather out of it. Tallow and Dutch here. So yeah, I mean, that, that to me is just a little bit it's just a little bit tacky looking, it's not elegant looking like your Wickham and your Barrister and Man and Phoenix and Bowl where they've got a sort of 
it, it, it's really classy looking for me. It's just, I mean, you've got to start somewhere and that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, they're waterproof or the water resistant, which is great. The scent's not though. Great base, shit scent. That's all I can say about it, I have to be honest. <laughs> I don't bullshit on these channels. Every review I do, if I like the scent, I like it. That's probably the worst smelling soap I've used. And I've used hundreds of soaps, so it's not the best start for grooming department on my channel. So it'd be interesting if I can get another one, hold of another one. To see if I get something better than that, because that's, um, yeah, it's not great. I'll probably flip this over to Spencer as well, or someone else that wants to put a review on it, and just see what they think of it. In fact, you know, I might even send it over to to Alan, who loaned me the razor, just to give him a crack at it, because it's a, I don't know. I might keep hold of it and just give it a few more ladders. It might open up, it might become good, I really don't know. But I'm just going to, I'm really on the fence with it. Right, the brush, here it is. The biggest bloomed brush on the planet. <laughs> Look at the size of that knot. <laughs> it's fucking massive. Really, really big knot. So the brush itself is the dual duck. Let's see if I can get that to focus. M3. Professional use only made in Germany. Look, it was all right. It wasn't the worst knot I've ever used. Uh, I think I've used a couple of knots that were worse than that, but maybe knots that are nowhere near as floppy. I mean, this is there's no backbone in this thing at all. It's literally like a paintbrush. But I got a pretty good lather out of it, really. It just wasn't the most enjoyable to actually get to that stage. But maybe with a bit of work, get these ends split on it a little bit. We'll just see how it goes. Worst case scenario, I send it back to JR and he rips it out and puts a new knot in it for me. But I think he's right. You have to give these things a go and try and keep them as original as you can. The knot's not shedding, it's the original knot, and maybe even worst case scenario, I keep hold of it and just keep this knot in it and just keep it for a, a showpiece. I don't know. I do love the handle, I love the look of it. It's very comfortable to use. Just a bit of a shame, really. The razor was the Razor Rock Wunderbar, which is a torqued slant. Holds the blade pristinely perfect. There's no wiggle room on any blade. So unlike the Rock Null Elite Titanium, which holds the feather blades pretty much spot on, but won't hold anything else. It holds everything else even tighter because the posts are too big for them. This holds every blade that I put in it spot on. When you twist it, it talks the blade. The blade looks like it's running off at an angle, but it's not, you leave it as it is. In fact, you might be able to see it now that I've got the, the better quality camera. You might be able to see just the blade. Just runs, it looks like it's running off at an angle. Probably not. It's a phenomenal razor, it's so smooth, it's very comfortable, it's got great weight. The stainless steel head with the titanium handle I find works really, really well with it. I would think with the stainless steel handle it used to have, it would be too heavy overall. So really impressed with this razor, I think it's incredible. Great for head shaves and face shaves alike. And like you say, I've got no razor burn, I've got no nothing on my face, I've got no nicks, cuts, weepers, nothing. All I've got is a very smooth, comfortable, close shave. Finished off with the Thea's. And then I'm just going to finish off now with some Lucky Tiger, just to keep the citrus rolling. Now just for an update on the Aka Kappa, the Aka Kappa 1869 Splash lasts all day. It's brilliant. Very similar longevity to the Creed Aventus. It's got a beautiful scent as well, it, really, it goes through so many stages. And by the end, you end up with a lovely, woody, sweet sort of scent at the end, and it's just lovely. Anyway, thanks very much, GR, for sending those brushes over, mate. Thanks for sourcing the dual duck and sewing out all my re knots, including this one. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.